Wow! Just imagine. At the office. In a moving car. On a train. How comfortable it would be if you could forget the fact you are now outside and instead enjoy real time video streaming, web browsing, and voice over IP without feeling any stress. Kyocera's iBurst system provides commercial mobile broadband wireless access, or MBWA services, already being used in more than 10 countries and 70 cities worldwide. Unleash yourself from your office. iBurst, the wireless broadband of the future. Free from wired connections. It's the iBurst experience. Kyocera's iBurst service uses a range of cutting-edge technologies to achieve unequaled excellent performance. To realize this iBurst performance, various kinds of user terminals are available, namely ExpressCard 54 type, standalone desktop type, and others. The first technology is Adaptive Array Antenna technology, with which a base station can always monitor users on the move by forming a beam creating a null point to avoid any interference for a continuous optimized link. Another technological innovation is spatial division multiple access, which makes simultaneous communication possible at the same frequency. In other words, it boosts frequency reuse threefold. These breakthroughs enable iBurst to achieve high levels of data throughput in a narrow bandwidth. In short, the iBurst system offers totally unprecedented levels of frequency use efficiency. What are the practical advantages offered by iBurst? iBurst is an NLOS, or non-line-of-sight system. This means that superior networks can be set up even in dense urban environments packed with high-rise buildings. And when you move from one base station cell to the next, iBurst provides smooth handover with no session cutout. So even when you travel long distances at high speed, iBurst maintains a permanent, comfortable net connection. Now, let's conduct a real-life trial to see just how successfully a notebook PC equipped with iBurst manages a handover in a car traveling at high speed. Look at the graph showing the file download throughput in a car moving at about 80 kilometers per hour. The car is just approaching the handover point. And there's the handover. As you can see, handover was successfully completed with no session cutout. iMERST also features high data rate and high capacity data transmission. Each iBurst base station has a maximum total uplink and downlink throughput of around 32 megabits per second just within 5 megahertz bandwidth. Download speeds of up to around 1 megabit per second for each user can be realized. This shows an actual trial in which 24 PCs are concurrently streaming data at around 1 megabit per second each. As this chart shows, iBurst will provide stable 1 megabit per second downlink speeds for many users at the same time. The new iBurst user terminal shown in this picture, available in March 2008, will offer ever faster downlink data speeds up to 2 megabits per second on an iBurst network to accommodate market demand. Using this new user terminal, a stable 2 megabits per second can be realized for many users as this chart shows. And development is now underway that will provide users in the future with 4 megabits per second within 5 megahertz, as well as expanded base station capacity up to 64 megabits per second if given 10 megahertz bandwidth. 
Ivers provides this high capacity throughput in just 5 MHz of bandwidth per base station. This is half or less of the bandwidth required for other wireless systems such as WiMAX. Therefore, for example, non-used 20 MHz portions of guard bands for GSM or IMT2000 TDD can be easily employed. This superior frequency use efficiency is clearly the largest advantage of iBurst. The iBurst network configuration is entirely IP-based, so it can be easily integrated into existing IP networks. It also supports QoS for VoIP, and is capable of providing high-quality wireless voice services with low latency that are on a par with fixed-line communications. The iBurst network also provides wireless encryption and authentication, making it ideal for applications where high levels of security are required. Low cost system building and low total cost of ownership can be facilitated by deployment of iBurst. Why can this be realized? Because iBurst base stations are compact and use a highly durable weather resistant housing so they can be installed almost anywhere including on the tops of buildings. They are also inexpensive to install with no air conditioning maintenance costs. And because iBurst operates at or below 2.5 GHz, CapEx is also low. The reason for this is that higher frequency radio waves have greater directivity and attenuation, such that each station has a narrower coverage, and more base stations are required to cover the same area. iBurst has already been adopted by many businesses around the world and its popularity is growing. Let's look at a few examples where it's already being used. The first success sample here is Malaysia. Within six months after obtaining an ISP license from the government, IZINET Sendarian Bearhead Dynamic Growth Business Model had deployed more than 50 base stations in Klang Valley. The area consists of five cities and towns, including Kuala Lumpur, the capital. IZINET will continue the rapid pace of deployment and is targeted to deploy up to 500 base stations throughout the whole country within three years. The second commercial service example is in the USA. Redwood Wireless Broadband Internet is a wholly owned subsidiary of Redwood County Telephone of Wabasso, Minnesota and has been an infrastructure provider to the communication industry in Sioux Falls for nearly a decade. The IBERS commercial service has also been rolled out in Sioux Falls and its subscriber numbers have seen steady growth since May 2007. And there are many other countries that have adopted iBurst and are continuing study on it, as you can see. iBurst is a truly revolutionary wireless broadband service that has proven itself in the market. These iBurst operators worldwide have formed the iBurst Association, IBA, a non-profit consortium advocating the promotion and development of iBurst technology as a preferred MBWA solution. For its movement to standardization, ANSI in the United States has approved iBurst as its HCSDMA standard. And the ITU recommendation for broadband wireless access approved in March 2007 has bolstered the position of HCSDMA, the mobile broadband technology that has now been rolled out globally. So now, do you see what's so impressive about iBurst? With iBurst, Kyocera is revolutionizing wireless broadband networks all around the world. Let's get out of the office.
Experience iBurst now.